This is just an absolutely it's heartbreaking terrible. story. The NTSB is in upstate New York this morning investigating the deadliest auto crash in recent history. 20 people dead after authorities say a stretch limo didn't stop at a stop sign. It then crashed right into a parked SUV. Laura Podesta has more about the wreck and some new information we've learned overnight about the victims. Witnesses say it sounded like an explosion when a stretch limousine crashed in upstate New York over the weekend. These trees just all swayed and you just heard this swoosh. All 18 people in the limo and two pedestrians were killed after it blew through a stop sign and into a ravine. The crash happened Saturday afternoon in Schoharie, about 170 miles north of New York City. Four sisters are among the dead. Barbara Douglas is their aunt. They were fun-loving. They were wonderful girls. One has two little children and one has one child. And they now have no home. Our no parents. The group was celebrating the 30th birthday of the youngest sister, Amy Steenberg. She and her husband, Axel, were married earlier this year. He was also in the limo. They did the responsible thing, getting a limo, so they wouldn't have to drive anywhere. 20 fatalities is just horrific. The National Transportation Safety Board says this is one of the deadliest accidents in recent history. Officials are not speculating on the cause. At this point in time, we look at everything. We look at the vehicle factors. We look at the roadway. We look at survival factors. We look at the, at the condition of the drivers. Local officials say this intersection has been prone to accidents in the past. Laura Podesta, CBS News.